Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with another card and video using some of Simon Says Stamps August card kit. I already did a video with the unboxing and I'd made a couple slimline cards. And for today's video, I decided to do an A2 sized card and also to use the Summertime Fun Barbecue mini set that comes in the kit because I hadn't used it yet. So I have some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I just put it in my mini Misty here. And then I pulled out pretty much all of the little images from the Summertime Barbecue set and I am stamping them with Simon's Intense Black Ink. Once I've got them stamped, I am going to color all of these in with Copic markers. I've sped this up in editing, but even then it didn't take very long. These are pretty simple little images. So I started with my reds because like I always say, and it's just, it's just the truth. Reds are finicky. It doesn't matter what coloring medium you're using, whether it be Copic markers, watercolors, water-based markers, whatever. Red pigments just like to make things difficult. So I like to start with my reds, especially with Copics, because if I need to go in and push color back with another color or fix things, it's just easier because red just, it has a mind of its own. <laughs> So I did my kind of go-to red combo for this, uh, like R24, R27, R29. I did add R, what was that, 39, just to give it that little extra bit of intensity. I talked about this in my last video when I was doing watercoloring, adding a little bit of either brown or a bit of purple helps intensify. In this case, the R39 is almost like a purpley red. So that works. And then I did um, cool grays for like the metal parts of everything again keeping it simple and then I would just went in with a darker gray to add just a little bit more you know color I guess to like the wheel of the little barbecue and the lid of the barbecue sauce that sort of thing so yeah like I said keeping the coloring just simple these images are simple there's no need to do anything too crazy and then for the browns, I just did everything with the same little brown combo. So I did like the barbecue sauce and then all the little, all the little items being grilled up here with the same shades of brown and with everything. I'm working darkest to lightest because it's just been my habit after all of these years. However, if you're newer to Copic markers or just alcohol based markers in general, um, usually going lightest to darkest, you have a lot more control and then you do what works for you. So colored all of those in with those browns. Again, just keeping it simple. And then for the little squeeze bottle, I decided to do yellow for mustard. You could obviously do ketchup, do whatever works for you. But I wanted that pop of color because everything, you know, I've got the red handles and the red barbecue. So I was like, I need something a little different. So I just stamped that and then um, colored it in with just some yellows. And then as a final little bit, I took my Jelly Roll 10. This is the widest white Jelly Roll pen. I just added little highlights here and there. It just gives everything that finishing little touch. So I just went along and kind of where the lines were and different things like that. I just added, you know, little dots and little lines just to give everything that little extra something. And then I did fussy cut these out. <laughs> Anyone who watches my videos know I'm not a fan of fussy cutting. I will avoid it if at all possible, but one, there isn't a coordinating wafer die set for this. And two, I didn't mind because there weren't that many images. They were small, easy to cut out. It's not like I had to, you know, sit forever. So I quickly trimmed all of these out and then got to, you know, actually making the card. So I did pull out again, the grassy edges wafer die set. This is separate, this isn't part of the kit, but I couldn't not use it because it's adorable and it's perfect for this. And I die cut a bit of the pattern paper that comes in the kit with that. And then I also just pulled out a scrap of some yellow cardstock and I'm using sentiments from the bigger set that comes in the kit. This is the Hello Sunshine set. I just pulled out a couple of sentiments that I really liked. And I'm just stamping them on that yellow cardstock with the same intense black ink. And then I'm just trimming them out with my paper trimmer. So I did a little thank you sentiment that I'm gonna use on the front of the card. And then I stamped um, a larger sentiment from that set again onto just the yellow cardstock. So got that lined up in my mini Misty so I could stamp it a couple times. Usually I like to, you know, white heat emboss sentiments, but I'm pretty sure I talked about this in that other video 
I'm almost positive it was the same video with using the kit elements. Um, when I'm working with yellow cardstock or just lighter cardstocks, I don't like white heat embossing sentiments like I normally do because you can't see them very well. So I just stamped them in black and then trim them out with a paper trimmer. And then I've got some white cardstock. I'm gonna adhere that little piece of green pattern paper that I had die cut with that grassy edges wafer die. And then I had some red cardstock that I'd cut to slightly larger to create a little frame. And then I have some more pattern paper. This is all that doodle bug um, barbecue. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> pattern paper that comes in a kit that's just, it's so adorable. Just love it. So I'm using the papers for this card and then keeping everything fairly simple because I've got all my little elements that I colored and cut out. And then of course I'm gonna add more of the little um, shape sprinkles that came in the kit because those ants are just adorable. And then as an afterthought, I decided to take one of my light gray Copic markers and I'm just adding that to the background to make it kind of look like smoke coming up from the barbecue. So just very lightly kind of basically drawing little squigglies. That's it, that's all I'm doing. So I drew a few little squigglies and then adhered all of my elements here. And then I've got, you know, one of the ants <laughs> starting to walk off with that little chicken leg. And then um, after I've got all of that adhered on the inside of the card, I'm going to use more of the pattern paper, kind of making it look like a picnic blanket. So I'm going to adhere that, I'm gonna adhere the sentiment, and then I'm using a few of the stickers that came in the kit just to kind of finish off the inside of the card and the little scene that I've created. So I trimmed off the excess of the pattern paper just by flipping the card base over. And then um, I'm gonna just adhere some of the little stickers that are just, again, they're just adorable. Like who likes ants? You know, you don't want them around or anything else, but Doodlebug adds little faces to them and they're just adorable, you know? <laughs> like it just gives them, it turns them into little characters. So adhered those to the little um, picnic blanket, basically. I had that little, that little hamburger patty that I had stamped and colored and cut out. So I stuck that there. And then I used just one of the little ant stickers so, you know, that's getting carted off because of course that's what they're gonna do. And then got everything adhered to the inside of the card. Still plenty of space to write something to the recipient. And then I'm going to adhere the card front panel to the card base. And this is a top folding A2 sized card. So four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to adhere the pattern paper card front to the card base. And then I also pulled out a schoolhouse red envelope from my stash. And there's this little solid ant image in the summertime barbecue stamp set. I thought this would look really cute. Stamping it kind of along the envelope, you know, a little trail of ants. So this I'm just using my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and just, yeah, stamping a little, you know, uneven row of ants along the bottom of the card and, or the envelope and then decided to do it on the back as well, like stamp them along the flap and then stamp them along the bottom corner of the envelope just to kind of tie it all together. And this would be really cute too. I thought about this, I was like, oh, if you didn't have pattern paper to just use that little stamp tone on tone, like red ink on red cardstock would look really cute, you know, create pattern paper with it because it'd be so cute. So did that. Couldn't resist adding a few more. There's the little tiny hearts that are in that shape sprinkle pack and a couple more little ants onto the card front just to, you know, finish it all off. So I adhered those into place and this card is complete. So this is actually part of a little mini blog hop that several of the designers are participating in today just to give inspiration for the kit. So I'll have all that info in my blog post. You can check that out below along with the links, etc., etc. I'll have all that info down below if you are interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing, thumbs upping, commenting. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.